definitely uh, will not buy what the politicians are saying now. Because you've heard it many times. And as they said, the failure of His Excellency Nana Adudankwa has given almost fatal blow to the trust of Ghanaians in the democratic process. But so many people believed in him that he was going to make a difference. Unfortunately, he has disappointed all of them. Even on the level even, of economy? Even, yes. Even his followers in his own party really don't believe in him again. I describe him as a, a, a lame duck. And uh, he wasn't happy with that description. Why but did you describe him that, that way? That is a statement of fact. Why did you describe him that None way? None of his party members is looking up to him for leadership. And authority has moved from his hand. And they are looking for where to position it now. So most of what he's doing, his people are not in support. So what you're saying is that even with the explanation of COVID-19 pandemic and the, the Russia-Ukraine war, which is still raging, you do not think that the government has been able to handle the economy much or well? That those things you mentioned, were they only things meant to affect Ghana? What about the other countries? Are they in this state? What about the Ukraine itself or the Russia? Those warring factions. What is the state of their economy there? So what is our problem? It's leadership. That is the problem of Africa. It's leadership. And our definition of leadership is different from the others. And so we keep on making mistakes because we only listen to those who are in the position to deceive us and cajole us to believe in them. We don't even take a step backwards to analyze where they came from. Why don't we? Well, it's basically because of lack of information. The fact that we've not been able to educate ourselves. When I talk about education, I'm not talking about formal education, read and write, no. Even informal education in the family, we've not been able to imbibe the values that build integrity. Not just integrity in the person, like honesty, but also in our systems. And so we rather glorify, we glorify uh, people who have developed skills to defraud, cheat, and deceive us.